Hello guys, and my name is Deb C. Shaw. Today, I would like to introduce you to our brains. Today, we'll be exploring how neurosurgeons help our everyday brain life. Let's get started, everybody. First, let's talk about your squishy brain. Your brain is like a pink, squishy, super smart computer inside your head that helps you think and play. To keep it safe, it wears a hard helmet made out of bones called the skull. Inside that helmet, your brain floats in a special water bath that acts like a soft pillow to protect it from bumps. Let's talk about our amazing spinal cord. Think of the spinal cord like a super fast highway for messages. It connects your brain to the rest of your body so you can run, dance, and feel a tickle. To keep this highway safe, it is hidden inside a tunnel made of stacked bone blocks called the vertebrae. Between each bone block, there is a squishy jelly donut cushion, also known as a disc, that lets your body bend, twist, and bounce without hurting your bones. Let's talk about the oopsie bump explanation. Sometimes if you get a really big bump, on the head from an accident, the tiny little tubes that carry blood, also known as blood vessels, inside your brain can get a really small leak. When blood leaks out, it can make a little puddle or bruise inside your head. Doctors call this a hematoma. It can push on your squishy brain and make you feel sick. If the puddle is too big, doctors are like friendly fix-it experts. They might do a special operation called chronotomy. This just means they carefully make a small temporary door inside your hard school, like opening a window, so they can gently clean up the blood puddle and make your brain feel better. Afterwards, they close the door safely back up. Now let's talk about brain tumors. What is a tumor? Your brain is made up of tiny building blocks called cells. A brain tumor is when some of these cells start to grow too much on the wrong way. There are many different types of brain tumors. Meet the neurosurgeons. These are special doctors who are like super fixers for the brain and spine. They are really skilled at helping to safely remove these growths. Amazing doctor tools that neurosurgeons use. Neurosurgeons use powerful spy glasses. Neurosurgeons use an amazing tool called an operative microscope to see tiny, tiny details in the brain. These help them safely remove tumors using small, delicate tools. Neurosurgeons also use special cameras for some tumors that grow near the bottom of the skull, also known as a skull base. The doctors can use a special camera called an endoscope. The endoscope is a small camera on a flexible tube that can sometimes go through the nose to help the doctors see and safely remove the tumor. Now, are you wondering about the brain's tiny balloon? Inside your brain, you have tubes called blood vessels that carry blood everywhere. Sometimes, One small spot on the blood vessel gets weak and puffs out like a tiny, fragile balloon. Doctors call this puff cerebral aneurysm. If this tiny balloon bursts, bursts, it can cause problems for your brain. The neurosurgeon doctors can stop the tiny balloon from bursting by putting a tiny special surgical clip right on the neck of the balloon to close it off. This fixing process is called surgical clippings. It keeps the blood flowing safely and protects the brain. Have you been wondering about the movement mysteries? Sometimes people have parts of their body like an arm or a leg that moves in ways they can't control. These unexpected wiggles and shakes are called movement disorders. These movements happen because the brain signals are getting a little mixed up. Deep brain simulation, also known as the brain's volume knob. 
This happens when medicine alone doesn't help the person control the movements. Neurosurgeons have a clever trick. They place tiny special wires called electrodes inside the brain of the brain where the mix-up signals are happening. These electrodes act like volume knobs for the brain. They send small, gentle electric signals to help quiet down the mix-up signals that cause the unwanted movement. This procedure is called deep brain simulation. It helps people feel more in control of their body so they can move more smoothly. Now let's talk talk about hydrocephalus or too much water. Your brain floats in a special clear watery liquid called the cerebrospinal fluid. It acts like a special water bath that helps protect your brain. Usually, your body makes this fluid, uses it, and then absorbs it like a gentle sink drain. Hydrocephalus happens when the drain gets blocked or does not absorb the fluid fast enough. So too much liquid starts to build up around the brain. This extra fluid can push on the brain and cause it damage. But neurosurgeons are ready to help. They can put in a tiny soft tube like a new drain pipe to help the extra fluid flow away. The tube starts inside the brain and runs down to the belly area or the abdomen where the body can safely absorb the extra fluid. This special system is called ventriculoperitoneal shut and helps reveal the, bo- the body pressures so the brain can stay safe. Now let's talk about our helmet helper. When a baby is born, the skull, the hard helmet protecting their brain, is made up of several pieces of bone that are like puzzle pieces that haven't quite clicked together yet. This lets the brain grow big and strong. Craniosynthesis happens when some of these skull pieces stick together or fuse too early. This makes the baby skull grow into different shapes. Neurosurgeons are experts at helping the skull get into the right shape. They perform an operation called cranioplasty. During the surgery, the neurosurgeon carefully makes a special cut into the bone to remodel or reshape the skull. This helps make space for the brain to keep growing healthy and gives the skull its correct shape. Have you guys ever wondered how to keep your spine safe? Your spine is the long column of bones called the vertebra running down your back. It helps you stand up straight, bend, and twist. Sometimes if there's a big accident, one of these bones in the spine can break. Just like a bone or in your arm or leg, this is called spinal fracture. The neurosurgeon fix spinal fusion. The special doctors neurosurgeons are experts at fixing these broken bones. They do an operation called a spinal fusion. In a spinal fusion, the neurosurgeons work to reconnect the bone the broken spinal bones, sometimes using special tools like tiny screws and rods. The goal is to get those broken pieces to grow together or fuse into one strong solid piece of bone. This helps the spine heal and keeps it safe and stable so the person can move again. Now let's talk about the amazing topic, the spine cushions. Your spine is made up of bones, also known as the vertebrates, and between each of them are soft, round cushions called discs. These discs are like little jelly donuts that keep the bones from rubbing together and help your spine bend. Sometimes, the soft center of the disc or the jelly can get pushed or buggled out. This is called an hematuridin disc. When it bugs, it can squish special nerves that run from your spinal cord. This this squeeze can cause a person to feel pain, have hiding feelings or numbness, and feel weak in their arms or legs. When the pain is really bad, 
neurosurgeons can fix the disc with an operation called micro disinfamy. Using tiny tools, a special magnifying scope, the neurosurgeons can carefully go in and remove the part of the disc which is bugging or squeezing the nerves. This takes the pressure of the nerves which helps the person stop feeling pain and get strong again. Now let's talk about spinal tumors, the unwanted visitors. Your spine is the strong bone column that runs down your back, protecting important spinal cords, or the main highway for messages between your body and brain. A spinal tumor is when a cell starts to grow in the wrong way on the spinal bone. The nerves or the spinal cord itself. Just like there are many types of brain tumors, there are many types of spinal tumors. Neurosurgeons need to get inside to remove the unwanted tumor. The spinal bones or the vertebra have a back part called the lamina, which acts like a roof over the spinal cord. To get a safe view and reach the tumor, the neurosurgeon performs an operation called laminotomy. This means they carefully remove a small piece of the lamina or the bone or the bony roof. Once the roof is off, they can safely access the tumor and take it out. Hooray! Now let's talk about scoliosis, also known as the curvy spine. Your spine should be straight when you look at it from the back. It's the main support beam of your body. Scoliosis is when the spine curves sideways, sometimes looking like an S or a C, instead of a straight line. This curving can make one shoulder or one side of the hip look higher than the other. If the curve is very big and needs to be fixed, the doctors, neurosurgeons can step in. They use special tools like titanium rods or screws, which are very strong and safe. During an operation, the neurosurgeon carefully attaches these rods and screws to the spine. These tools work together to gently straighten and stabilize the curvy bones of the spine, helping the person stand up right and tall again. Overall, from this presentation, you have learned about the body super team. The brain, spinal cord, and nerves are the control center of your whole body. The brain is like a super smart computer that tells you to think, feel, and move. The spinal cord is the main cable running down your back carrying messages between your brain and the rest of your body. The nerves are like tiny wires that take care of messages everywhere. Because these parts do everything you do from running and jumping to reading and laughing. It's super important to keep them safe and protected. A neurosurgeon is a special type of doctor who is an expert at helping people when their brain, spinal cord, or nerves have a problem. Every day, neurosurgeons help patients with different injuries or illnesses to get better so they can feel healthy and strong again. Like they are superheroes who can fix your body's most important command center. Hooray guys, we have finished this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something from it. Goodbye. Alright guys, thank you for learning about the amazing brain and spinal cord with us. Picture power. All the fun pictures you saw in this presentation were specially made by Google Gemini. Where we got all the facts. We learned all the school information from the book Neurosurgery for Kids, written by Betty Nugan, Dr. Brandon Farm, and, and Dr. Margin Farm. Important grown up notes. This presentation is just for learning and fun. If you are some if you are someone you know needs to help with their body Always ask a grown up to talk to a real doctor, not us. This presentation is just for information knowledge. Thank you for learning with us. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you and goodbye.